Hey guys, it's Mark over Brozone coming to you with another quick video. So in the previous email that we sent you, we talked about getting the washable stuff out of your bag as quick as you can and then washing it as quickly as you can. So just to review, you, you know, we are distributing this laundry bag so that after every practice and after every game, all the washables go right into the laundry bag and then it's already separate, separated before you get home making your life easier that you can now wash that stuff because now you don't have to root through the bag after you get home and the work is already done. You just got to wash it when you get home. Now the next step in staying ahead of odor is drying your equipment thoroughly and this is a huge problem. You know on top of people not getting the washables out of the bag quick enough or, or at all, they're not drying their equipment. So you have to dry your equipment to stay ahead of the odor and the bacteria. So what I've got here is a couple examples of our sports equipment hanger and how we hang the gear basically in the truck. This version that I'm showing you actually is a little bit different, but uh, the premise is the same. Number one, we take a look here at this first hanger. I've got this empty hanger and you can kind of see the way the straps are set up. We've got them you know, longest in the center and then, you know, almost like kind of progressively shorter working our way out. So I know it's another expense. I know it's $60, uh, but staying ahead of the odor is the end goal and drying the equipment will help us to stay ahead of the odor. Okay. So when this thing, this uh, hanger gear sports equipment hanger comes out of the box, I would kind of recommend just sort of taking some time and you know lengthening the straps a little bit you know from the center out and now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly show you what it is that we're doing uh, when we hang this stuff up so here on this hanger i've got a set of shoulder pads and i've got a pair of pants okay and i hang the pants and I, I always work sort of center out when I hang this stuff. I hang the, the pants on one of the long center straps. And what I do is I, I loop it right through the tie down strap just above the butt on the back of the pants. I loop it through there and then you can see I clip it right back to itself so that it can hang independently. Okay. And then from there, I sort of just work from the center out. And this might be a little difficult to see. The, the pants would be here. Then I go to the helmet. And then it is the elbow pads, the shin guards, and then the gloves. Okay. So let's hang this back up and sort of take a look at this a little bit more critically. That what you're going to want to do is sort of just hang in pairs. Okay. Once you get the gloves hung, or once you get the helmet hung, you know, let's unloop the pants, hang the helmet, hang the pants in the center. Okay. You have these red straps. I don't really use these red straps a whole lot, but you can use them if you want to. Then after the red straps, I hang the elbow pads. Okay. And you're just working in pairs from center out pants, helmet, elbow pads, shin guards, shin guards and then the gloves on the end if it wants to come out yep then the gloves on the end okay and then when you're done just take the shoulder pads throw them on top and you're ready to go there we go we got the shoulder pads on top ready to go Okay, so again, hang the pants through the tie down strap on the back side, put the helmet next to the pants and then just work in pairs and you can go elbow pads, shin guards, gloves, and then it's all nice and neat. The beauty of the hanger is it is low profile. It is portable, so you can use it at home. You can use it on the road for tournaments and things of that nature. and and again, like I get it. I understand it's 60 bucks for the hanger. Maybe you got a couple of players. That's why we have the 10% member discount built in. So you're going to knock, you know, 10% off, uh, 
if you decide to purchase this thing. Um, number two, it will pay for itself later on down the line. This is something that you're gonna use every single day. And at the end of the day, you know, maybe $60 for it up front uh, is a bit of a tough nut to crack, but the, the clips are made out of metal. It's, it's rugged, it's durable. If you commit to using it every single day, it will be pennies a day over the span of, a, you know, your kid's playing career if you stick with it. So get the gear out of the bag, get the laundry out of the bag, wash the laundry, dry the equipment every single day. It will help preserve the lifespan of our treatment and you will be healthier and happier for it. So if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.